Step one, fold down the two rear seats, slide in the back, disconnect the speaker on the right with the clip, pull the clip out by holding down both of these two side tabs and pull down. Disconnect the rear light in the back window, right here, little clip, hold it down, pull it out. Other speaker. Same thing, uh, both clips on the side, squeeze them, pull it out. Next step is removing the bottom rear seat. There's clips on each side of the seat. They look just like this. The way to get them out is to hold when the seat's still down is to hold right here, squeeze both sides and pull back lift it while lifting up the seat at the same time and it pops right out. So one here and one down on the other side. Then, then there's a 10 millimeter bolt right inside this pocket where the seat belt comes out pull back here right there's the bolt 10 mil 10 millimeter so go ahead and grab a ratchet with an extension and a 10 millimeter socket and unscrew that bolt and the back seat should lift out now that the back seat um, is out There's a bolt right here and one exactly on the other side. Another 10 millimeter, unscrew that bolt and this whole side piece will come off and on the other side. The next step is, now that we have both the side panels out, is to go ahead and pull the latch here, uh, pulling down the rear seats. are down so this panel here and the one on the other side are the next thing that have to come off so basically if you have a removal tool you want to stick it back behind here and give this a light tug to pull it out there is an airbag behind here so I'd recommend using some caution just a nice light pull to get that piece off of there and it should pop right off. And uh, I will uh, take another video once it's off to show you what it looks back behind there. All right, so we'll take our removal tool and kind of come up in here, give it a little bit of a little tug here. A little tug over here. Then this should pop right off. So after removing this side panel here, this one that went right up in here after pulling out the top piece, the biggest hurdle I ran into is there's a little plastic clip that you have to pry right out of this hole first. Otherwise this whole assembly won't come out. You can either use a pliers or I used a, a removal tool. Just kind of put it in there and wiggle at this plastic piece till it pops loose. Then that whole assembly will come out. Try to be careful because there is side curtain airbags in there and on the other side. And then after that, the next step is lifting up this plastic panel here out of the, the clips from out of there.
So then after lifting up the clips, fold your seat belt things down through here to pull them loose. And this whole back side piece comes straight off. And then you have access to the rear speakers. So the next part is removing this screw right here. It goes all the way down into the mount with a Phillips head or a small socket on there. Slide all of that all the way out. Then the two clips right here this one here and this one here you slide from the top slide the speaker out and these clips will loosen so it, sometimes it requires putting a little pressure on there because from the factory they have like a small coating of a it's like a foam sealer on the top so just kind of pop it loose till you get it loose and make like I said in the first step make sure you have your clip speaker clip loose so it pops out when you take it out so what I ended up doing is if you take this little removal tool and just kind of come real underneath this edge and just slowly lift up on there, you'll feel the seal break loose. Don't do it on the end where these two clips are because you don't want to risk breaking them off. So you can see here where the two holes are, where the clips are. So just go ahead and loosen that till you feel it pop up. It'll come up like this and then slide the clips out. Then you have your speakers. Um, main thing is do not lose your bolt here that is used to tighten down the speaker when you're done so do not lose that bolt I recommend just putting it in the hole because we will use it later for the remount <laughs> 